missing fonts is the most common issue you encounter when when you're working with text. I think we talked about this before, but the typical causes is that the config variables are, aren't pointing to the correct location or the font files are missing from those pathways. You could have a corrupted font file and, or maybe you have a font in the correct pathway, but it's the wrong file type. So just, just little things that, will, that can cause issues. Uh, if MicroStation does not pick up the font file or it doesn't read the correct font, it will revert to a default font specified in this font config XML file. And for RSC, that's going to be standard font. And you can see here in the, in the screenshot, in this case, the RSC font number 48 was replaced with standard. And that's the default fallback font that's shown here. Let me just draw this for you. So RSC standard. It's going to be replaced by that standard. So the message center gives some good clues when you're working with issues. Always check the message center if you can. So like we stated before, the configuration variables are one of the first things to look at when you have missing fonts. Here we have the configuration variables dialog. You can get there from your file tab, settings, configuration, and then go to configuration variables. You'll have to go to the symbology category. And then these two config variables are the main ones you'll be working with. You just got to uh, be sure that these font file pathways are correct. And in addition to this, a debug, debug log is a great tool for troubleshooting. And I'm going to show you here in just a second how to use a debug log to take a look at these configuration variables and how to troubleshoot. So just in addition to this configuration variables dialog. So let me get this video pulled up for you guys. Okay, so in this model here, we have a we have a roadway design project that's referenced in to the sheet model, and we have a title block down here that's kind of typical of what you'd see in the design phase. Uh, so I'll go ahead and just play this demonstration here. In a hypothetical case, let's say you're working on this on on a single machine, and your text is not appearing correctly, so it looks like here, it's all reverting back to a single font. In a support situation, we'd get a call saying, the font looks correct on another coworker's machine. How do we get that to correct on my machine? So that gives us some clues that something's wrong with the configuration. And you can see here in the message center that the RSC fonts are replaced with a, a fallback default font. So we're going to first go to the configuration variables. And we'll go to the symbology category. And then if you click on each of these configuration variables, there's going to be an expanded list of the pathways it's looking for. So first, just make sure these are correct. Same thing for the symbology resource variable. So if something doesn't match up to the quote unquote working machine, then you know you've got an issue there. So in this hypothetical case, we know our organization standards are gonna be located here on the D drive. So we go there on our machine and we notice it's blank. So what we need to do is copy the font files in this location on the working machine and then paste it into this directory. So it's on our machine. All right, so once we got that pasted in there, we'll close out of here. And then to any changes to the configuration, you must restart MicroStation. So just go ahead and close the application fully and reopen it again. And if you zoom in here, you can see that the fonts are now displaying correctly. So that, that was caused by a missing font file from the configuration variable pathways. So, and another thing I want to add here, sometimes you'll see these missing true type fonts in the message center, but usually when we're working with users, it's not a big deal because that just, it's probably missing from the system itself. So maybe Windows updates or something. And the last thing I want to show you in this video is a quick tutorial how to, how to troubleshoot your fonts through a debug log. So. 
here I'm, I'm going to the run prompt on Windows OS. And we'll run the microstation executable with a debug command line switch. And this will just output microstation so it's a summary of their of its processing. And we'll scroll about two thirds of the way down. You'll see a configuration variable summary. Uh, this is a good, really good tool for admins to troubleshoot their end users' issues. And you can see here that the MS font path is defined in two locations, just like we saw in the configuration variables dialog. And then the symbology resource config variable is down here. And there are four definitions, so that should match up. Uh, you can also get a debug or a, a pseudo debug log from ProjectWise. That's a, a common thing we encounter as well. So you, that is possible to get a summary of your configuration variables. In this case, without ProjectWise, you can see each configuration file processed one at a time. So you can see down there in this standards config, the MS font path is defined. So just want, something I wanted to show you, I think it's a great tool when you're working with these issues. And the great thing is you can use it for other text issues as well. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.